Nutrition Services employees can purchase meals at a discounted rate. Follow these steps to make sure you are following USDA rules about food purchase with federal funds. Failure to do this could result in your termination. If you wish to purchase a breakfast or lunch after your shift, you'll need to notify the one source operator so an account can be created for you. You'll need to prepay on your account. Meals for food service aides are 60 cents each. This is a special price. Your employer covers the rest of the cost of your meal as an added benefit to you. Each time you take a meal, you must notify the one source operator. Failure to do this is considered theft. You can only purchase a meal if you have enough money in hand or on your account to cover the cost of the meal. Kids can have negative accounts. Adults cannot. Meals must be consumed at the school after meal service is completed and after your shift. This is to prevent you from being accused of stealing food. Do not take food out of the building. Eat your meal in the designated area. Meals are all or none. If you want a cookie, you must still purchase the entire meal and pay for the entire meal. We do not sell food items a la carte other than milk. Meals, even those purchased, cannot be taken off the school premises. According to KSDE regulations, food cannot be taken off the premises for adults or students. Removing food or supplies off the premises could result in your immediate termination. Here are the meal prices for this year. Notice even visitors and staff must pay for their meal. Visitors pay full price for meals. People who are considered visitors are teachers, paras, volunteers, custodians, parents, and non-school-age children. Visitors must pay the one source operator for their meal. Direct any visitors who take a tray to the one source operator to pay for their meal. Adults do not get larger portions than students. If nutrition services did not receive reimbursement from the government for students' meals, students would also pay that full price as adults do. Visitors, including teachers, paras, volunteers, custodians, parents, and non-school-age children, cannot be given leftovers or share table items for free, even if the food is going to be thrown away. This food is purchased with federal dollars.